Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you another fix we need, an obvious one. If we click on our login form, click on the text box. Obviously, whenever you type in your password, you don't want the whole world to see it. That could be changed easily with the password character property. So in the text box, password character property, you can add any symbol that you want. I'm going to use an asterisk. Okay, so I just added that. So just real quickly, whenever you run it now and you type in the word pencil, you can't see what I'm typing in. It's just asterisks, obviously. Okay, so we're done with that, with that form for a little bit. Let's go to our design window and let's add some code here for the menus. Exit, if you recall, if we double click on the exit uh, menu item, we can simply kill the program by typing in the end command. It stops the execution of the program immediately. And then if we go back to our form one, our main form, and in about, let's open up. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's add the about form. So we go to project, add windows form, and then this about box, we can use that. So I'm going to choose it. Notice the name is about box one. I'm going to add that to our, to our project. And this is what shows up here. Now, we could try to change the, uh, the text of the product name and the version and things like that over here in the properties window, but there's a, there's a much more sophisticated way to do that. So now, sorry for making you jump around, let's go back to our Form 1 design and let's double click on About. So this About tool stripe, our strip menu, when we click it, we need to um, show that about box one. That's easy. About box one dot show. So if we run that, type in the word pencil, press help and about, up pops that about form. It loads a few things in here, and I can show you how to change those. Click OK, click Exit, or you can press you know, Alt-X. So the last thing I want to show you is how to change text inside that About window. That's done automatically through the Project, Properties. And if you click on the application, make sure you choose the application, Assembly Information. So the title here is Forms and Passwords. I can add a description. can change the company to whatever my product or whatever you want it to be called copyright okay maybe this is assembly version 2.1 you can change that here too Press OK. Let's save that. And then run it for one last time. So now we type in our password. Click on Help. About. Notice that this is our title. This is our product, our version, copyright, your company name, and then your description shows up here. Pretty nifty. All right. Well, that does it for this tutorial. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day.